This is the site of the future organic orchard as it appears now in February 2011. Orchard 1 is located at the far end of the picture in front of the wooded area and Orchard 2 is located to the right of this field where the new orchard will be planted. We will plant the orchard this spring with the scab resistant cultivars listed on this slide. The trees will be on M6 rootstock which is a better match for this site than the Bud 9 rootstock in Orchard 1. This high density orchard will be trained using the slender spindle system. We are really excited about this, this future orchard because it is addressing some of the challenges our current research has highlighted and it will allow us to evaluate the potential of these cultivars under organic production. As I mentioned in the beginning of this presentation, we have both research and outreach objectives. So far, this presentation has been focused on the research aspects of the project, but I just wanted to mention again that we do have a very important, in my opinion, um, outreach component of the project. The extension part of the project includes a website. The address is written on the slide, or you can just um, put in Organica project or organic apple information into a search engine and the website, website should pop up. The outreach component of the publication also includes orchard tours and demonstrations, workshops, and the publication of Orchard Observations, which is a blog of what is happening in the organic orchards during the growing season. We continue to seek your input uh, on what types of information you would like to have and in what format or venue um, and what would that would be most helpful and um, useful to you to enhance your production of organic apples. If you have any comments or suggestions, please give those to me either today or send them to me at my email address, which is Lorraine, L-O-R-R-A-I-N-E dot Burkett, B-E-R-K-E-T-T -T, at U-V-M dot E-D-U. Before I close, I wanted to again recognize the team of individuals who are part of this project at the three universities. You see these the individuals listed here. And we would not be able to do what we do without the support of you, um, the apple growers in the state and in the region, and um, the support of other, other organizations. We really thank you for that support. With that, I'd like to conclude this presentation. And I would like to end by thanking everyone who has given us input and advice throughout the project, which has guided the project and will guide it into the future. Thank you very much.